Good morning, Year 9. This is Mr. Essa. Today, we're going to talk about energy transfers using Sankey diagrams. Our lesson objective for today is to show a quantitative understanding of efficiency using Sankey diagrams. Success criteria. I can use the equations for efficiency in problem solving and I can interpret Sankey diagrams. In our previous lessons, we talked about the law of conservation of energy. The law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can be transferred from one form to another. We also talked about efficiency. Efficiency is the fraction of the total energy input, which is transferred into useful form, and it can also tell us the fraction of the energy input that is wasted. So what happens to wasted energy? Energy can be wasted in the form of heat. Heat is dissipated or spread out into the surroundings. This energy is no longer useful. Using Sankey diagrams, we will be able to see how much energy is useful as well as the energy that is wasted. What is a Sankey diagram? A Sankey diagram is a visual representation of energy transfer in a closed system. It can also give you a visual representation of the efficiency of a machine. It can show how much of the energy or work input is wasted. Here is an example of a Sankey diagram. Over here is the total energy input of 40,000 joules. If we follow the arrow going straight towards the right, this shows the useful energy output. Useful outputs are usually illustrated by straight arrows coming from the input. Now the arrows going downwards, sometimes upwards, represent the wasted energy. In this Sankey diagram, the useful energy output is 8,000 joules and the wasted energy is 32,000 joules. We can use the Sankey diagram to calculate the efficiency of the runner's body. We know from our previous lesson that efficiency is equal to the useful energy output divided by total energy input times 100%. So in this case, the efficiency is equal to the useful energy output, which is 8,000 joules, divided by the total energy input, which is 40,000 joules, times 100%. Then we can cancel these and also joules. Therefore, we can have 8 divided by 40 is 0 0.2 times 100%. So in this case, the efficiency of the human body is 20%. We can conclude from the Sankey diagram that the human body is inefficient since most of the energy input is wasted as heat over here. How to draw a Sankey diagram? We're going to use this example for a light bulb. The input energy is 100 joules. The useful output energy is 60 joules and the wasted energy is 40 joules. So we're going to use the scale 1 square is equal to 10 joules over here. Now, we're going to draw a rectangle with a height of 10 squares over here. So this will be your rectangle. Okay, we have 10 squares for the height 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that will be our uh, total input energy. It will represent your total energy input of 100 joules. The width of your drawing could be of any size because the height is what counts as your energy input. So this is our total energy input. For the 60 joules of useful energy, we're going to count six squares here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to draw that as an arrow going towards the right. So first I'm going to draw the arrow over here going towards the right. The length of your arrow doesn't matter as long as the height of your arrow is 6 because 1 square is equal to 10 joules and 60 joules is our useful energy. Therefore, that will be our useful energy. This will represent now the useful energy going towards the right straight. The wasted energy will be the four squares left over here. One, two, three, four. But instead of drawing it towards the right, we're going to tilt it downwards. So we're going to count another four squares over here to represent it. One, two, three, four. And we're going to draw it going downwards this way. 
So this will be the representation of your wasted energy. After drawing the arrows, you have to label all of the input and the output and the wasted energy. So in here, we're going to label this 100 joules total input. And then here, we're going to label it as 60 joules of useful energy. Okay, or you can just label it like 60 joules used as light. Now in here, the downwards arrow, we can um, label it as 40 joules of wasted energy. Or you can label it also as 40 joules of heat. So here in the next slide, it's a much neater representation of that Sankey diagram. So here is your total um, energy input of 100 joules. This is your useful output of 60 joules and this is your wasted energy of 40 joules. Now you still have to label that as we have done in the previous slide. So this is your 100, no, we're going to label it like inside, okay, 100 joules input, total input. Okay, you can just say total input over here. And this is your 60 joules of useful energy. And here is your 40 joules of wasted energy. Now, if you want, you can also calculate for the efficiency of this. But in this case, let's not do that. We're going to do that in the classroom afterwards. Obviously, I'll be asking you to draw Sankey diagrams, but what makes a good Sankey diagram? First, we have arrows are labeled with input and output energies. Boxes are correct of the correct height. Straight lines drawn with a ruler, not like what I did earlier. And Finally, the wasted energy is also labeled. So all of these things should be seen in your Sankey diagrams that you're going to do. So in the next slide, this is your work. So this will be your first Sankey diagram that you're going to draw, so a candle. The input energy is 400 joules. The useful output energy is heat, 240 joules, and wasted energy is sound, 160 joules. So in this case, I think one square, one square for this will be equal to um, let's say 40 yeah 40 joules it's fine because your squares are not, are not enough for other scales so this is what you're going to use as a scale for this um, work number one and your work number two an energy efficient light bulb the input energy is 100 joules the useful output energy is 80 joules the wasted energy is 20 joules so you're going to use the same scales i did for my example this is quite easy and your work number three a power station the input energy is 100 joules 15 joules is wasted in the boiler 45 joules is wasted in the cooling water and 5 joules is wasted in the generator the rest is a useful energy output as electricity so there are three wasted energies in, and uh, you're going to draw the Sankey diagram for this. I want to know how you do it. Okay, so um, I want to, you to do all of these things in your notebook and then you're going to submit it in the platform that I'm going to ask you to use. And um, this is our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Today we used the equations for efficiency in problem solving as well as interpreting Sankey diagrams. I hope that you like this lesson. This is Mr. Essa. And have a nice day.